this is Mindy McIntosh Shutter, and today I'm going to show you how to propagate geraniums easily. Now I have a gardening tip when it comes to this. The technique that I'm going to show you how to do is a cutting. And most cuttings require some type of rooting hormone. And the purpose of a rooting hormone is to protect the cutting from any bacteria or fungal problems. Now to take a cutting, you need to make sure that you have a nice clean knife and you're going to choose a branch or stem that has several leaves on it. You're going to take an angle cut. Now the reason for an angle cut is you actually get a better rooting surface and it's better for the parent plant. Now what you're going to do is you're going to remove this flower because if you don't, the cutting will send energy to that flower. And you just simply snip it off level with the stem. Now you will also need to take any type of spent leaves off and you will need to make sure that you remove any leaves that might end up in the rooting hormone. Now the last thing that you need to do prior to putting it in the soil is you're going to need to put a good amount of honey on the end of the cut and that will serve to prevent any bacteria or fungi attacking that cutting. Once you've done your cuttings you also need to make sure that the soil moisture remains even. Don't make it too wet, don't make it too dry and to check your cutting, make sure that you gently wiggle it and tug on it a little bit about six to eight weeks after you've taken your cutting. If you get any type of resistance, that means you have roots at the very end of your cutting and you can begin the next process, which is transplanting.